play in a local community center. These girls' parents come from the Philippines, Thailand, and Sudan. But they sing and speak to each other in Hebrew. Like her friends, eight-year-old Naomi was born in Israel. This is her home, she says. Hebrew. Yeah? You write Hebrew beautifully. Yes. You like it? But Israel's government now wants her to leave. Here, it's illegal for migrant workers to have children. Hundreds of families like Naomi's face expulsion from Israel this summer. Along with a number of Israeli pressure groups, Naomi's mother is trying to fight the decision. When I say to her, the government will be deported us. And she say, no, no, mommy, because I'm Israeli. And naladite po, I born here. She say, I born here and I will stay here. But Israel's government is serious. It says it wants to drastically reduce the number of illegal, but also legal foreign workers in Israel. New immigration police patrol the streets as part of the crackdown. Thai and Filipino workers in particular began arriving here after the start of the second Palestinian uprising. They've taken the place of Palestinian workers. Israel severely restricts their work permits for security reasons, it says. But Palestinians, Southeast Asians, Africans or Europeans, laws here make it hard for people to stay to become Israeli citizens if they're not Jewish. According to Israel's Prime Minister, controlling immigration is largely about preserving Israel's Jewish character. Israel is a country built for and set up by immigrants from all over the world, but with one key thing in common, a Jewish background. From the moment of its birth, this country has described itself as the Jewish state. While Israel's government speaks of the need to expel non-Jewish migrant workers and their children born here, it sponsors organizations like the one featured in this promotion video that encourage Jewish people the world over to come and live here. You're running to the homeland. You're running to come home. Israel insists this has nothing to do with racism. Most here feel having a Jewish state is important, considering their long history of persecution. Especially in the shadow of the Holocaust, um, the displaced persons and survivors, some chose to make their home in Israel. 85% of the country is Jewish. And the idea is that this is a homeland, a place where Jews around the world can come and, and, be, and be free. Israel's government didn't respond to our requests for an interview. Now, May and her friends hope they'll decide to turn a blind eye. They have in the past, so they can stay here. Katia Adler, BBC News, Tel Aviv.